it didn't move. I'm going to have to go to drastic measures on this one. Where's that short bar at? then let's get her on out of there The short gib key, and you see that's quite got grease on it. It's in good shape, except the uh, head of it. Real nice protected uh, keyway there. That's a nicer one as you'll see. The short gib key goes on the uh, on this side right here. Oh, now we got to get them. We. We probably ought to get that puller out here. Let's get them off of there. Oh, I hear that evening train going by. Clean up these, uh, clean up both sides. Spray her down. I'll be able to turn that. <clears throat> I thought it would break loose. Now, right now, let, 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 let me let me let me let me show y'all something. That uh, right now is a good time to do something to kind of kind of give you an indication of what kind of condition the flywheels are in. You 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 put that flywheel all the way up yonder against that spacer. And that's that's a pretty tight tight on there. And just use anything. We done done it before, but I'll show you again. Just use anything where you can get a point of reference onto uh, onto the flywheel. And see what I did is. Uh, Uh, prop that whatever this is don't don't let that move and then hold a little bit of pressure on the flywheel where it will bottom out on that spacer in there and then you roll the flywheel around all all the time observing the gap between the flywheel and the fixed point and if it deviates then it's the flywheel if you if it moves in or out this way then the flywheel has a slight warp in it because we're not we're not we're not checking the crankshaft and uh, actually this one has a little more run out than I like so I'm going to mark this flywheel and uh, probably not use it uh, I think I do have a better one. Probably won't use this flywheel. It is the later style that has the embossed lettering and the chisel marks. But uh, I'm not, uh, well, uh, looking at it straight down here where I can actually get a true reference. 
If I if I had to make an educated guess, uh, see right there. Let me move that over a little bit. Right there, that's about dead even. See, and that's about oh, that's a pretty good bit. That's too much. It's too much. Not going to use this flywheel. I'll mark it as such. But let's get her off of there. <clears throat> Looks good. Now you also can make the same test once you get the crankshaft the rod loose from the crankshaft you actually can do this same test by turning the crankshaft with a fixed point here just to give you a visual reference and the spacer now there was a model that used a different magneto on it just kind of do your research on it look it up there was a model which did not use the spacer and it had a longer flywheel boss on it so that the flywheel would set further out this way to clear the magneto. Look it up. A little homework I'm going to leave you with. Let's get that other flywheel now. Mm, it's tight. Woo. I done already sanded that. Ah. I done already sanded that there. If it ever turns, if you ever break that uh, rust or grease, and this one, oh yeah, I see what the problem is here now. I'm going to have to pull this one out. Because on this one right here, let me turn that around there and show that to you. Glad, glad that happened. See, can I show you that? Now, well, I'll just explain it to you. The, uh, no. This uh, this ha this bottom this bottom part of housing here where you Babbitt bearing goes, it has pressed into it a small. Uh, it's added on after it was casted. Uh, a, a, a little pin sticking out that actually this collar here has a hole in it, and that pin. It sets this collar in position where it don't it don't rotate. The other one that 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 didn't have that that had the solid one here it rotated. Didn't it didn't have the brass thing. So anyways, what the problem is now is uh, this here is stuck onto the flywheel. This collar right here. And uh, when I try to turn the flywheel itself, it wants to turn that collar with it, and it wants to twist that pin off. So what I'm going to have to do is pull it straight out, and then free this collar up on the flywheel. And let's get her off of there.